This video is especially important if you're a first time home buyer or a new realtor. I'm going to discuss the basics of the home inspection process. Hi, I'm Julie Connor, licensed associate real estate broker in both New York and Connecticut. I'm going to use the state of Connecticut home inspection process as a guide for this video. In Connecticut, most buyers agents request a 10 day inspection period written onto the standard real estate contract. This gives us an opportunity to do all the inspections needed as well as negotiate the requested repairs from the sellers through the seller's agent. We generally only ask for health and safety issues, especially in recent times. In this market, many agents have been using the no inspection strategy to win bids. I do not suggest this strategy at all, considering I've had issues with bad septics recently and these septics need to re be replaced as soon as possible at a cost of upwards of $25,000. I've also seen the need for new furnaces, the need for new oil tanks, and other major costly items. So this is not in the best interest of your buyers not to do any inspections. There is also a trend toward reducing the inspection period to as little as three to five days instead of 10 days. I really do not recommend this strategy at all. It really takes at least 10 days for the inspection period to happen. You need to get the inspections booked with the inspectors. You need to wait to get tests back, such as the radon and the water tests. And then the buyer's agent must negotiate the necessary health and safety items that you're requesting from the seller's agent to ask the seller. So it really does take a good 10 days. The home inspection should always be done once the septic inspection is done. Even if it's not convenient for you and you have to do it over a two day period, the reason I strongly recommend the septic inspection being done first is if the septic is a disaster and it's going to cost $25,000 to $35,000 to replace that septic, you have to make sure that the sellers are going to be willing to replace that septic. If the sellers are not going to be willing to replace the septic, and the buyers don't have the additional twenty-five dollars to $35,000 to replace a bad septic system, you're going to have a situation where you then, on the same day, have done a home inspection and you paid an additional $500 to $1,000 for that, and now you've lost all that money plus the $350, $450 for the septic inspection. So I strongly advise first do the home, uh, septic inspection, wait, and then do the home inspection and do it in that order. The home inspection process is not a time for the entire family to come and see the house. This is a time for evaluation and scrutiny. It's gonna to be too distracting for the inspector to have 10 people following him or her around the house. And you're literally gonna turn a two hour inspection into a four or five hour ordeal. And the inspector is not going to be very happy, I'm going to tell you right now. I recommend that only the buyers and the buyer's agent are present at the inspection in addition to the inspector. The inspector is typically going to start with the outside of the home. They're going to take some pictures. They're going to be looking at the roof, the windows, the siding, the foundation, the chimney. They're going to be looking at all the trees outside, kind of making sure that there are no dead trees that can fall on the house. They're then going to go inside the house and they're going to go from room to room. They're going to check plumbing, electrical systems. They're going to be checking all the major appliances. They'll turn on the washing machine. They'll turn on the dishwasher. They'll turn on the stove. They're going to place a radon kit in many cases in the basement or in the lower level. And they're going to test for that air radon. They're going to check the water in most cases, unless it's on a, on a, um, community well they may not check it but if it's a private well they're going to check the water um, they may do a well recovery test with a, another company um, they're going to look at the furnace the oil tank things like hot tubs and fireplaces are typically out of the scope of the inspection and those definitely need to be done by other companies if the buyer would like that once the inspector completes the home evaluation, they write up a comprehensive report. Now this report can be used by the buyer's agent to determine the health and safety items that are gonna be requested by the buyers to the sellers. 
And this is done during the 10 day inspection period that I talked about. And these items are negotiated with the sellers and a written list of what the seller is willing to do is gonna be signed by the sellers as well as the buyers and given to the attorneys. This is very important that it's done. Once the things uh, items are fixed on that list, we need to get receipts of everything. Uh, and this is also put into the folder. And if there are very expensive health and safety repairs that need to be done, sometimes the seller asks if they could just give the buyers a credit at closing. I hope you learned a lot from this video. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel below for more real estate tips. And I really thank you for watching. Thank you.